Welcome back to Out and About Today. If you're just joining us, Pam and I are talking with Tennessee Equality Project Executive Director Chris Sanders about the Tennessee State Legislature's 2020 session. Okay, Pam, you had a question before the break, and I think we're kind of on the same page here. We were going to follow up with, we're talking about specifics, logistics on its face, but then as a maybe a young gay or lesbian child that hasn't come out yet, or even if you have, what sort of message do you, do you hear people telling you as you're out in the state? Like, how does this make them feel to see their state sort of attacking them? I think a lot of people can't believe it's really happening. Mm -hmm. uh, other people are like, I'm not surprised. But behind all of that is disappointment. Yeah. Behind both approaches right. is disappointment. And there's fear under that. Um, because one wonders, given what's going on in the federal government and the rollback of LGBTQ rights at the uh, you know, regulatory level, who is left to stop what's happening in Tennessee? Mm -hmm. And what I've tried to tell people for years, and it's painful and it's hard, there is no guarantee that anyone else will rescue us. Yeah. We are going to have to do it ourselves, or at least a large part of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Mike Curb of Curb Records has been speaking out against this adoption bill very clearly, and I'm grateful for that. We need a lot more companies to do that. He's right here in Tennessee. Um, we need the nationals to do the same thing, but whether they do or not, we're going to have to fight this battle too and that's part of the reason why i'm going to martin tennessee today i want us to be active in as many parts of the state as possible and those are the parts of the state that can make the difference if we organize there mm -hmm. you know the nashville delegation to the general assembly votes with us right you yeah. heard them yeah. on the floor of the senate yeah fighting that bill mm -hmm. both parties nashvillians fighting that bill we've got to get Martin and Morristown and Murfreesboro and all the M's and every place else in between. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. The bubble is yeah. the bubble. And that's yeah. why we travel and I meet great people and we're growing, but we need to probably quadruple what we're doing. Well, and I see the photos again on the Facebook group where I see, you know, you, you're in Martin, you're, you're in Murfreesboro, you're in all these places, and you see the pictures of the people there, and sometimes you'll see a, they're filling the photo, and other times it's, you know, 10 or 12 people, but those 10 or 12 people are really dedicated, so... Yeah, um, it, but 10 it, people in Dixon, and we always get more than 10, but 10 people in Dixon is... 100 in Nashville. Plus. Right, yeah. right. Well, and I'm, I'm so glad you segued into that because that's one of the things I wanted to talk about is that uh, you guys do such a good job of promoting that, people coming in. You've already seen a little bit of growth from nothing to 10 people or five yeah. people. Um, what's the sort of reaction you get from those people when you get there? Obviously, they're elated. They're happy to have that. But maybe sort of what is the thing that they feel like that you provide them the most? Is it training? Is it confidence? Is it all the above? I hope it's a little of both. Uh, I mean, we do teach them how to set up their meetings, what to do in their meetings, sure. uh, and, uh, you know, how to to engage more people in their area. But it is to prep them for the three days on the hill that we have, the first of which is February 4th. We do the first Tuesday in February, March, and April. Mm -hmm. And these are people coming from all over the state. You may remember our press conference last year where we had a huge group from East, West, and Middle Tennessee. Yes. And we need, that's what we need. Mm -hmm. You know, these lawmakers need to hear from their own people. Yeah, the advocacy, the continued advocacy, even even if you feel like you can't do it anymore, you got to, there's no, I keep hearing that not only here locally, but on a national level too, you know, there's nobody coming to save us. We have to do it ourselves, you know, run for something. All of these organizations. Right, you know, that's right. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I've been using this for a long time. You either need to give your time, your talent, or your money. So mm -hmm. do a pitch for, and I need to go back to giving my $50 a month. Well, oh, I, I thought you were. No, I cut that off <laughs> and gave to something she just else. It. <laughs> I think my kid, my kid has to go to college at some point. But That's true. seriously, I, we all need to show up in whatever way we can. There's so many good ways. I, I every so often, I'll, once a quarter, I'll tweet out. You know, you can set up your Amazon Smile right. um, to go to TEP. You can set up your Kroger card. Yep. You know, all of these programs, T Tennessee Equality Project Foundation, can be a beneficiary. Yep. And right. we we appreciate that. And you can go to the website tnep.org yep. and, and give. We really want you to advocate if you can do that too, mm -hmm. right? Um, because we need the people, we need the brain power, we need the hands. Uh, but we're glad to take uh, funds as well. So in whatever way you want to get involved, we're glad to have you. And, and advocacy, you know, people hear that and sometimes they think, oh, I've got to do a lot of things. But it could be as simple as making phone calls, correct? You may not even have to leave your home. You can That's place right. calls. You know, obviously you would want to talk to your neighbors and your friends and your family, but right. you don't have to commit your life 
all day, every right. day. Um, and if you don't want to talk to a person, we usually have campaigns where you can call at night or on the weekends there when you no one is there at that legislative office and leave a message, mm -hmm. and that's great too. Yeah. So we want to accommodate every style of advocacy we can because we need everybody. Everybody. And I, I, I hate to cut us off because we could talk for another 30 yes, minutes, we could. but that's all the time we do have, unfortunately. Um, but you can follow us on your favorite social channels for breaking news and entertainment or watch clips of the show anytime at outandabouttoday.com. We'll see you next weekend. Good night. Good night.